It's one fewer tool. Here comes the dive. It's and here we one. go. There's the gold card coming in expression in that Meganar form, but there's just so much damage now that that sheen has been completed for GBM, and he's right back really wants to make this play right here. They're gonna make a play on topside set. There's Expression, and the same gank happening again. Gold card will hit him after the bounce. There's the wild cards coming through, and that will be a kill for GBM as he locks in another card. Moving up with that on the hunt, more spears firing from the backside, but guess where GBM is? He's in the topside, used that destiny. Expression is dead to rights, twisted advance. GBM locks in the gold card, one last auto, takes out Expression for the third time. Expression right there on your screen. Meanwhile, TP from Trace is going to arrive at the backside. TP from GBM actually coming through, too. And now everybody on IM uh, have to disengage. But there's so much crowd control. That is going to be the end of Tucson in that 5v4. Ignar being hunted right now. Clever little tornado there. And that will cause right your chaser is up 3,000 gold on Tucson. Look at his farm difference. 106 to 64. And I am getting the dragon low. And here we go, Alistair engaged. There's a Cimarold popped already. Righteous Glory used. It will be coming in from the flank. That is the Gnar looking for an opportunity. His rage is almost filled. They're going to go on to Tucson. They're trying to attack the flank right now. Pilot and Chaser are stuck in the pit, though. Tucson getting very low. GBM wants a gold card target. He's not going to get it. And Dragon will reset back in the pit. Abnar gets in from behind. And he's going to pop the members of Jin Air back in with the Monsoon, but GBM. Finds him on the outside, one for one trade, support for support. Going down so far, Expression gets an ult, but it's only onto the Maokai. That is not who you want. Jim, GBM is out of mana. He's gonna have to zone you through the Hourglass, and this is going to be IM actually winning this fight. Jin Air taking a lot of dragon damage inside the pit. They were split up and just poked to death by Incredible Miracle. Very and they have to get together. I mean, these comp, these if they want to kite, they need to be together on these calls. GBM gonna come in, Tornado not going to knock him up as the Destiny comes through, and Ignar will fall to Pilot's Boomerang Blade. A lot used, but they are just going to push into the top side right Starts now. Starts to take their foot off the pedal usually, give their opponents an opportunity to get to six items and then crush them in a team fight. And we've seen this, I believe it was against CJ. Finally, we see some initiation, Holy but it's from cow. IM, and popped is the Siva. Enough ability power onto the likes of a victor, and this can happen. Okay, TP, up to the Baron. Jin Air decides to do Baron right now. They see Victor at the bottom side jungle, so Jin Air should be able to get this one if they don't get it smite stolen by Tucson. GBM there as well, two TPs used. They are going to secure the Baron, and that will they turn afterwards. Sweet's already with his ultimate pop, and they are going to have to disengage, especially coming in. Pilot wants to get some damage down. They're trying to kite back into the choke point right now. Chaser going to be over the wall. Sweet will lose his life in exchange for the Baron. Frozen there late. He is looking for a TP. He's going to TP up. Here comes the epic back door. He's going to go for the win right now. Expression has to TP back. But remember, GBM can just gate right back into this one. It's going to be a 50-50. And Chaser with a steal saves Jin Air's bacon in a lot of ways. GBM now going to be coming back with the gate into the team fight. Double kill for Chaser, triple kill for Chaser, and here we go. That is going to be a Maokai kill onto the Kog'Maw. Chaser running away from that Ikathian surprise. He tried to cultivate 25 minutes previously, and okay, it's delayed, but Jin Air finally with their massive early advantage, parlay that into a win. Uh, here we go, Dex is gonna go down. Jin Air wins game one in nearly 45 minutes. Some very interesting map play that game. Interesting? Yeah. Well, it was half brilliant, right? Because Jin Air started playing the, the turret game extremely well. But what's the other side of the half brilliant, <laughs> Monte Cristo? Half crazy. <laughs>
gets caught out. The jungle, Spooky's reacting as well. Does have the Raptor Sense buffs, are able to clear. This is not a 3v3 that LZIM wants to opt into. No, it is not. Now they're going to start threatening. There's the True Shot Barrage, and that means GBM gets the blue buff and the kill onto Spooky. Trace manages to make his way into that topside jungle, and they're not even that good. Not even average, really. Mediocre ult by Sweet. Oh, they don't pick it up. They're frozen Ooh. with a flash. Petrifying gate. There's a knockoff coming in from Spooky. And the disengage from Chaser gets the explosive cast down. There is a teleport coming in. They're still chasing onto Chaser. Trace is here. He's in Meganar form. Can he get the ult? He does. Three oh. man ultimate. Huge ult from Trace. GBM on the outside. His exhaust is worn off. Sonstar is dead, dead, dead. And Trace will get the kill onto Ignar. Double kill from Pilot. Four for zero. Oh boy, and man. you are so just frustrated if you're frozen because the CC layering at the start was good, but Igna never got into headbutt pole range. Just awkwardly walked slowly as the cow could not impact that fight. If there was triple wombo of CC, there would have been kills for IM. Well, Spooky here, he wants to smite it. Not going to get the steal. When we see Cassiopeia played, frequently this is what happens. Uh-oh, uh Trace in the enemy jungle right now. He's at the blue buff. He's doing a 1v2 duel. 1v2 duel, Spooky, gonna follow up, red buff, buff burning onto Trace right now. He's tanky, we're waiting for members from Jinnah to come and help, but He's at this dead. present point, they're too far away. In Minina, those resists are gone, that health is gone, and Trying so is. The game will be available for the tank, Spooky gonna make a play, there's a chilling mm -hmm. smite down to Pilot, there's the knockup coming out of the unfurl. Pilot starting to kite, does he have to use his summoner's field? Oh, Spooky has overextended, and now there's a TP coming in from both Teams, top laners, uh -oh. GBM the first to respond. He is going to have the angle right here. There's the death ray. He gets caught up by expression. Cleanse used. Now we see the zoning from the gravity field. Sodstar still at risk. Does get stunned. Does get popped by the Chaos Storm. And now Ignar the target. He's going to fall to a stun too. Trace still there. Trace about to hit that Meganar. Will they dive? No. Petrifying Gaze hits three. GBM gets targeted down with the Twin Fangs. And that's going to be the conclusion of that by two for two when the dust settles. Fortunately, sloppy team fight play has been the case today. That's not been the strength of this Jin Air team. It's all been about rotations. I am have started this dragon. This will be their first dragon. Now is not in position to contest. But here's the collapse afterwards. Jin Air still looking for that. Like Glacial Fisher will catch Ignar, forces that unbreakable will out. GBM here, and Ignar is going to die eventually, but he does actually zone off the rest of the team. However, Jin Air now has an angle into this mid lane. Make a play onto the top side right now. Jyn Air with more and more turret. Oh, Ignar. Flash bolt misses, and that's a dead Alistair. Spooky gonna come in. Sonstar still low. Sonstar has no mana. Pilot is caught out under the oh. turret. There's a Petrifying Gaze. Shut down onto Pilot's Ezreal. But they need to start making a move, and making it soon. And here comes that move. GBM is gonna have to kite back very quickly. TP not gonna find a target, but they do have Trace isolate on the side. Spooky goes in. There's the ult from Ignar too, but there's a true shot rush. Nearly takes out Spooky. Trace and Expression duking it out on the side, but Ignar is just left. I am split up, and there is Frozen just annihilated by an R ultimate. Double kill for GBM, and Expression bites the dust for a triple, and that will be a Baron for the Jyn Air Green Wings. If you are I am right there, you have to commit to one side or another. You can't play around no, with this. has never been able to hit a relevant headbutt pulverize despite being excellent at that ability. And here we go, GBM locked out. Clans comes through immediately. Here's the kite coming in. Pilot is untouched, and GBM starting to annihilate people. Uh, with all that AoE, Frozen gets caught. Triple kill already for Pilot. Quadra kill. Sonstar is here. Can Pilot get yep. the pentakill? He's got to get it. Pentakill for Pilot on the Ezreal as he cleans up the fight. He was untouched in that team fight. Completely untouched. Doesn't even need the Trinity forces with his suite of armor penetration and the play of the room all onto the turret. But unlike Spooky, understands it's far too far away from his team. And here we go. I am Pops the Righteous Void. They want to come in on the Zignar. No mana, so he's going to have some trouble. And that is going to be him falling immediately. And Ooh. there's the Nar. Gets some people back in the fight. Frozen has the face of the mountain, but bye does bye. fall to the Chaos Storm. And Trace, he's on a mission to not die to the tower. Everybody just running in, super minions on to the Nexus. They want Sonstar. They're gonna get Sonstar, you poor sad Kogma. The reindeer that couldn't be. <laughs> Unfortunately this time Rudolph couldn't make it done. He couldn't save Christmas or the base for that matter. And a very nice end to what has been a much more decisive win for Jyn Air Green Wings. Well, Rudolph can't save Christmas when he's dead, Papa Smithy. Nope. That makes 
all the children cry. So there we go. Nexus will fall eventually. I guess they want to pad their KDA. Nope, minions will take it out. Super minion with the last blow, and that is a 2-0 victory for the Jin Air Green Wings. Much more convincing in game two. In fact, my only contention is who gets the MVP, Monte Cristo? 11-1-7.